what's up guys? I am back with another video. I am so excited for this video because I am going to be testing out Botox for my hair. Yes, you heard that right. I didn't even know such a thing existed either. But what really sparked my interest to look into something like this is I naturally have very dark brown hair so I do get my hair color treated and bleached and my hair grows pretty fast so I have to continuously you know get it touched up and put bleach on it which over time it definitely damages your hair but not only that on top of that you guys you guys I use tons of heat on my hair whether I'm straightening it or you know doing those curls I use either a really hot curling wand or a really hot hair straightener it's no surprise that over time it just gets really dry and damaged especially more at the ends and I find my hair looking more brittly and just uh, not good with that I really wanted to try out something that will give it a really deep hydration and just put the life back into my hair and I was doing some research and found that there's such a thing as Botox for your hair now it's not like the Botox you inject clearly but it's just a really intense deep hydrating mask it provides intensive thermal protection and so I came across this one specifically this is by Nutri Professionals. This is the Brazilian Botox Expert and it's a thermo multi-control mask. This says it has marine collagen, glutamic acid, and almond oil, which if you know anything about those ingredients, they are essential for your hair. So it came in just like this with a little direction sheet. So I'm just gonna be following the directions in this video and we'll see what kind of results I get. So this is what my hair actually looks like most of the time when I wake up in the morning or after I take a shower and air dry it. It is naturally straight, but it does bend in weird ways and it just looks like a hot mess if I don't straighten it or curl it. So I'm just gonna follow these step-by-step -step instructions and see what happens. So first step, I need to wash my hair and blow dry it completely, which I have done. And afterwards, it says to section the hair in six parts and apply the product in all of the hair. Now I have short hair, so it's really easy to work with. I'm just going to deliberately apply the product very evenly all over my hair. And then once I'm done with that, it says to leave the product for 30 to 40 minutes in the hair. <laughs> Why did I read it like that? I'm so weird. I left it for about 35 minutes and then it says to rinse out the hair removing 80% of the product, which I did. Then it says to blow dry the hair all the way through, make sure it's completely dry. And once I did that, move on to the next step, which for me, I thought was kind of a weird step, but then I looked more into it and I understand it. So it says to section the hair and flat iron the hair, making sure you are getting every piece of your hair. The science behind this is flat ironing the hair actually helps release the collagen from the mask to cling on to your hair and give you a much deeper condition for a longer lasting effect. This is the only Botox mask that lasts up to eight weeks. But anyways, after I went with the flat iron all throughout my hair, my hair did look and feel absolutely amazing. It feels so smooth and hydrated and just overall healthy so this is what my hair looked like before and this is what my hair looks like now do I see and feel a huge difference visibly I don't think you can see that huge of a difference it just looks like really straight hair but I cannot get over how good it feels it's so smooth and soft and just feels like hydrated and bouncy one of the most common questions when it comes to Botox for your hair is what is the difference between a keratin treatment and a Botox hair treatment? The biggest difference is that hair Botox does not contain any formaldehydes and it doesn't need to be chemically activated when you are using it in your hair. So that way it is a lot more safer than any hair treatments out there. And most importantly, it lasts a really long time. So overall, I really enjoyed this product. This one does have up to five uses. I will leave the link to the hair Botox that I used in this video. This one is pretty affordable, but it does also come in a bigger size as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below and let me know if you've ever tried Botox for your hair. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!